when you and your partner work so much that you're at a breaking point. Ooh, yeah, we review. Hi, everybody. It's Corbin. And today I'm here to talk to you about Dog X Cat by Yoshimi Amazaki. We shall read the back and delve into the nitty gritty. After landing jobs, Junya and Atsu decide to take the plunge and move in together. Sadly, they're both so busy that they hardly have time for a quick kiss or anything else. And what will happen with their always devilish Professor Tsukaru decides to meddle with their bitter, sweet honeymoon. Dogek's cat takes two feisty and cuddly men and forces them to wrestle with burning passion. Can a romance that blossomed out of childhood, friendship stand the test of time, or will the demands of adult life destroy their bonds? This is 18 plus. It's published by 801 Media. Now, let's get into it. First off with the art style, it starts with a color print, which I'm not exactly going to show you because I don't want the video flagged, but the art style really hasn't changed very much. There's only one difference, and I'll talk to you about, talk about that when we get into plot. But, let's see. The art style stayed the same. They all still look the same. They all still are represented the same. There isn't much of a difference. So that, I have to say, is a plus for this. Um, Plotline wise, this is not my favorite. Honestly, I was reading it and I found myself going, why is this even in the book? What is the point of this? I'm so over it. So it opens up with the two men. They're having tons of problems because they never see each other. Finally, they both have a dawn of brilliance and they believe that they should move in together. So they move in together. And on their first night of being home and being able to spend much needed cuddle time together, um, Atsu, which is the one of the lab coat, has a horrific nightmare, well, a memory while sleeping, about how Junya fell in love with a girl and he hadn't felt like he could confess his love to him, and how alone and how awful he felt. And he woke up crying, Junya was there to console him. Just the entire story felt really off. It didn't feel necessary. It felt really oddly placed. I didn't like it. Um, I found it really... It was just slow. It was just dull. I, I get it. I understand it. I understand why they would probably put it in there. It's just... It, it didn't feel necessary to me. Now, the next story, we follow Junya more than Atsu. Junya is running around trying to manage a party for a big client, which is the professor. The professor is actually a secret author of murder romance novels. He's world famous, apparently, and he's getting ready to publish a new book, and with a new book has to come a huge launch party. And it is Junior's job to get him there and actually make a public appearance. So he proceeds to plan the party, working really hard, and he realizes that him and Atsu have had no time together whatsoever. And it's really boggling his mind. He feels really misused and he feels really just awful. So he kind of works his way through it. And the two end up with a three-day mandatory vacation together. Thanks to the professor being able to fix the situation. That one was far better in the two stories. I found that one much better. It was better paced. It flowed better, and it kept my interest more than the first one. And that, I think, was a saving grace of this one. So, as far as having to have it, I would say blah. As far as needing to have it, I'd say blah. That's a personal choice. I bought it because it was part of the series. I'm a completionist when I buy a series. So that always damns me to spend a lot of money that I don't necessarily want to spend on a series that has hit a wall. But I'm not sure if it has yet. There's one more volume in the series. Now, the part that I was that kind of involves art and plotline. So these are supposed to be the uncensored editions. They're supposed to be very much so more adult rated, more adult themed. What I ran into with this volume is that it left a lot to be desired. It left me with a lot of, what? When I was looking at certain adult scenes. Now in the last few volumes, they really haven't had any fluff, any politeness about them. And I don't know, maybe this volume was super duper censored when it first came out, but this one feels like how Junae's censoring the manga now. So it had, like, the hand holding what was it was supposed to be holding during that act, but it wasn't completely depicted the way it has been in previous volumes. 
So I didn't quite like that. So all around, this just felt way weaker than previous volumes. So I don't know. I'm going to read the next one, that's for sure, but we will see what happens. So yeah. Um, if you guys have read this before, let me know what you think down below. Give me a like, favorite, subscribe, and share this with a friend who likes Yaoi, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!